What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. This is going to be part two of my coffee and vinyl record setup. Today being obviously the vinyl record setup. If you've seen my previous video, I brought you into my kitchen to show you how I created some sort of little cafe barista kind of corner in my kitchen. And today I want to invite you into my living room where I will display with you my record collection and also my newly started CD collection, as well as the other knickknacks surrounding my record shelf. Again, I'll try my best to include the items behind me in the description below. Some of them are discontinued, so you might not be able to find them very easily online, but I wanna share as much detail as I can for you today. So I'm gonna start with my right to your left, starting with the IKEA Swedish House Mafia collection which is unfortunately discontinued this was a rather cheap purchase in my opinion um, i think i got this for about five euros and it holds about 20 records and this was my very first solution when i first started collecting records not expecting to amass over 100 records at this point but this is great if you're starting out your collection really cool to display all the records it's really easy to browse through them it has a nice open layout so you can see all corners of your records i like it here to be honest you can browse from the seat you can browse from the ground and it's a nice complement to the surrounding shelving area unit. I reignited my passion for collecting CDs recently. I saw Reasonable Doubt by Jay-Z on CD for a couple bucks and I was like, how the heck am I gonna play this? One thing led to another and now I have amassed, I think about 30 to 40 CDs. This shelf we got from Kaschen Raus, a local donation store, let's say, or thrift shop. And this one I got for about 250. I have another one in another room, but this is the main collection. I typically go for albums that were released somewhere between the 90s and the early 2000s, just because at that point, CDs were definitely more dominant and they're not as easy to find on the used market. So yeah, a lot of early 2000s R&B, late 2000s R&B, ballads, a little bit of Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, that kind of direction. Pretty happy with it. It's just an easier way to consume the music that I typically grew up with. So the player that I ended up getting is a Panasonic player. I went to Cash and Gauss looking for a CD player after I purchased Reasonable Doubt by Jay-Z and a couple of other CDs. I was looking at this and I had no idea what I was looking for when I was looking for a CD player. And the guy recommended this one and he gave me this system together with some Panasonic speakers for 15 euros. I don't know if they came together originally, but they're both Panasonic and I'm really happy with it to be honest. The bass is pretty solid. And for 15 euros, I think you can't really get a better deal than that. So I was pretty happy with it. It was easy to set up. My only gripe with the CD player is for some reason when I open it, it opens twice. The first time it, it kind of pinched my fingers. Now that I know to like give some time before it completely opens. So when I'm feeling like switching up the mood, switching up the genre a little bit, I put on some CDs. Going into my record collection a little bit, on this side I have mostly gospel, soul, R&B, hip hop, and reggae. I recently got these dividers from Amazon and right now I just have these little stickers with the genres. Super subtle, they're also white complementing the shelving unit. And I've written down all the genres over here, which kind of helps me just sort the records in general and make it easier to find. So you're probably wondering what this shelving unit is behind me. It's actually a discontinued IKEA shelving unit. I believe it's called the IKEA PS 2014. And as a 2014 model implies, it is limited, so it's not available anymore. My girlfriend and I stumbled upon this video from a content creator named Eric Wang. I believe he's based in San Francisco, and he had this shelving unit behind his couch. He's really into interior design. We really liked it. We thought it was really cool because you can, you know, add plants in between and it's a modular shelf so you can play around with the positioning so we have nine units some with spaces some with these blocks that you can like cover the top or the sides with super convenient and really adaptable to your situation luckily we found this on ebay kleinanzeigen for about 180 it goes for a few hundred euros new i believe and this was the only piece available in all of germany and it happened to be in Düsseldorf, just a few minutes drive away. So we hopped on it the day we found it and picked it up and it was in basically perfect condition. So we knew we had to get it and change up our original record setup. It's super nice because I can store my records rather easily. I can display some plants. I can store the speakers. Everything is out in front and the things we want to hide are essentially covered. So you don't necessarily see the sides of all the records completely. It's kind of a little bit of a tease when you're looking at it from, from afar. What I really like about it is that depending on our mood, we can switch it up. For now, this is our best setup. 
but hopefully <laughs> If I get any more records, which I'm trying to reduce, I don't know if it will fit all of them, but I'll find a way. But for now, this is the best setup we have for the records. Behind me is a lamp, which we also purchased on eBay Kleinanzeigen. I got it for about 20 euros, I think. I'm trying to have the more modern looking living room overall. So our chairs are black and silver. And so this silver lamp is also complementary to that. What I really like is again in the evening, you know, I like to kind of shine it over the records. So it, it highlights the record, it's, it's, it's the main centerpiece of the living room. Funny enough, I have Awaken My Love featured in this video, which happens to be the very first record I ever played on this record player. I love it. It gave me a little bit of an eargasm listening to the first song, Me and Your Mama, those little jingles leading up into the to the bass if you know the song kind of starts off chill it kind of escalates and comes back down it's a super great record to have in a collection if you don't have it already so i highly recommend it childish gambino took on a bit of an experimental approach on this one and i believe it paid off definitely get your hands on it if you haven't already now the record player i ended up getting recently was the audio technica there's a bunch of letters and numbers so i'll link the model in the description. My girlfriend got this for me for my birthday a couple years back and I had expressed that I'd wanted a record player for a few months now. Super happy with it. It's a great entry level record player. I mean you have the standard 33 and 45 RPM, basic needle, kind of a, an imitation wood finish which kind of complements the wood underneath. I like how it kind of looks a little bit classy with a little bit of modern twist to it. Has the dust protection as well. And after watching a few YouTube tutorials, I feel like it was rather easy to set this up. Just make sure you have a nice balanced surface, of course, but it does a trick and I'm super happy with it. So with that, you need obviously really good speakers. I got the Edifier, again, I forget the model, but Edifier is a great entry level brand as well. I think these went for about 100 euros or so, give or take. So great entry level speakers, have pretty solid bass. If you're not a complete audiophile and you're just getting to the hobby, these are definitely sufficient. What's also great is that there's a remote so you can control the volume. It's also a Bluetooth speaker so you can obviously change the source of the audio to, from Bluetooth to the different lines. But just be careful because it's really tiny so just make sure you keep it in a safe spot. I like to keep it right beside the record player but it could get hidden in the cushions if you're not careful with it. I also prefer to get some sort of stand for your records, at least the one that you're playing. This is kind of a, it looks like a 3D printed thing. A few euros on Amazon, I think. But it's nice to just display the, the record that you're playing. Otherwise, you kind of have it lying around. So definitely get your hands on something that, you know, shows off your, your music taste. So the records that I currently have on display are a reflection of the music that my girlfriend and I prefer. A little bit of hip hop, a little bit of R&B. On top of that, we have a little bit of a blue and black theme going on, kind of just complementing the white behind it. Here we have JD's Forever Story, Beyonce's Lemonade. We have Ye by Kanye West, which in my opinion is in the bottom half of his discography, but it looks super nice, complementing the rest of the records here. SZA's SOS, which came home with a couple of Grammys this year, which is super cool. Sade's Promise, which in my opinion is her maybe second best album after Diamond Life. Finally, I have an alternative cover for Travis Scott's Utopia, which some are saying got robbed at the Grammys this year, but fantastic record. This is probably the least popular cover based on what I've seen on the internet, but I like how minimal it is. I don't particularly know the reasoning behind the balloon theme going on, but it also comes with super cool sleeves, which I really like. But overall, I like to switch it up depending on our mood and I like the overall blue theme going on. And as you can see, we have some minimal shelves to display the records depending on what we're feeling. We went with a black minimal shelving unit to display the records to kind of hide it from far away. So up close, you can obviously see that it's black, but from far away, it looks like the records are floating, which was the vibe we were kind of going for. What's also pretty key when collecting records is your own cleaning kit. This comes from the brand Spin Care. I found them also on Amazon. So it comes with like a spray bottle with some cloths. Definitely get your hands on that if you're collecting a bunch of old records. They typically come with a lot of dust and this is something that is not really nice for your record players. So definitely get your hands on that. If you tend to go to the flea markets or thrift shops, in any case, I think it's a must for any record collector if you want to preserve your records and maybe sell them in the future. And 
And finally in this corner I have my rock collection together with some, a little bit of electronic, some soundtrack music, pop music, international music, and the ones I kind of want to get rid of to be honest because I realized over time that I didn't actually need these records so I just need to clear some space so I can, you know, fill it up with more music that I enjoy. And right in front of me is a side table unit. We actually have two of these round tables which we picked up through eBay Kleinanzeigen. And here I have the final edition of Rolling Stone Germany, which highlights the top 50 records of the year. And I actually compared this with the US one, it's completely different. In my opinion, they have better records in their top 50. The US one typically included a lot of pop music, which is good, but I actually discovered a lot of new and interesting and alternative music with this list. It also came with a CD with some songs from the top 50 list. This one cost about nine euros, so with a CD and a pretty solid edition of Rolling Stone, I think this was a great pickup. So whenever I have the time and I wanna just relax, I just sit down in this chair and try to discover some new music. So that about wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found some inspiration for your record setup. This is definitely still a work in progress, but over time, hopefully I don't collect too many records and just run out of space, but very happy with it so far. I hope to just continuously and iteratively improve it once something comes up. So thanks for making it till the end. If you did like the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you want more of this content. So I hope to see you there. Peace.